Hey, Kelly. What's up? Nothing. Oh, except, oh my God, Jim. Last night, Ryan and I totally, finally hooked up. It oh, was awesome. That's great. I'm really happy for it. I know, and it was so mm -hmm. funny, because we were at this bar with his friend, and mm -hmm. I was sitting next to him the whole night. And it wasn't making a move, so in my head, I was like, Ryan, what's taking you so long? <laughs> and then he kissed me, and I didn't know what to say. Wow. So I said, Ryan, what took you so long? I mean, I just said it to him. Can you believe that? Wow. Oh my God, Jim, is that embarrassing? I'm embarrassed. No, don't be. Oh, no. Thank God, because right. I was nervous, Jim. You will not believe. I was I bet. so nervous. But now, now I have a boyfriend. All right. <laughs> I hooked up with her on February 13th. Pam's on vacation, and she gets back tomorrow, so it'll be nice to see her. It'll be nice, and uh, she set a date for the wedding with Roy, uh, June, summer, so that'll be nice. And that's that. What? Oh, nothing. Jim's been looking at me kind of a lot all week. I would be creeped out by it, but it's nothing compared to the way Michael looks at me. I drink like a hundred ice macchiatos a day and practically nothing else. Wow. There's a really cool coffee place, oh. Jitters, at the Steamtown Mall. You ever been there? No. You've never been to Jitters? No. Ryan, you are so dorky. Give me your number so I can text you. Um... Mom. Can I have email address? Really little, but I just thought you should know. Mm -hmm. well, I think something a little fishy is going on. A little fishy? Yeah. I mean, I've been noticing him all day. I just think it might be. That little girl is a child. I don't want to see you sniffing around her anymore this afternoon. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Boy, have you lost your mind, because no, no, no. I'll help you. Sorry. Find it. No. What you're looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you if you don't stop sniffing after my child. OK. Stanley yelled at me today. That was one of the most frightening experiences of my life. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, does everyone know my boyfriend, Bob Vance? Kevin Malone. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Stanley Hudson. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Ryan Howard. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. What line of work you in, Bob? No. Oh, I know we left the other day on a note of uncertainty, but after some more thought, I'm very pleased to be able to offer you this job. <laughs> Great. I'm so glad. We're all very excited you're going to be joining us. It'll be nice to have another MBA around here. I'm excited too. OK. Bye. Who was that? Nobody. You and I are done. What? So it plays on the infinity thing without being obvious, yeah, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd love to do like a color version, just bring a little color I to it. I like it a lot. Out. It's clear and subtle at the same time. It's really good. You have a real talent for this stuff. Thanks. I'd love to talk to you about it more. That'd be great. Do you want to go out to dinner tonight? Oh, is it... More something you... nice? No. What? Um... I just... I'm sorry. I just wanted to have dinner. I'm, uh, I'm... I'm dating Jim. You're kidding. We're together. That's great. I. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, great. So let me. Um, He's, yeah. Let me look at these. Okay. Great. Cool. Great. I guess he can't get any girl he wants. How long until you actually get this presentation ready? Why don't you honest do the estimate? presentation? Because I, mean, I don't you want... know how to do what it. What I really want, honestly, Michael, is for you to know it so that you can communicate it to the people here, to your clients, to whomever. Oh, okay. What? It's whoever, not whomever. No, it's whomever. No, whomever is never actually right. No, well, sometimes it's right. Michael is right. It's a made-up word used to trick students. No. Actually, 
whomever is the formal version of the word. Obviously, it's a real word, but I don't know when to use it correctly. Not a native speaker. I know what's right, but I'm not gonna say because you're all jerks who didn't come see my band last night. Do you really know which one is correct? I don't know. It's whom when it's the object of the sentence and who when it's the subject. That sounds right. Well, it sounds right, but is it? How did Ryan use it as an object? As an object. Ryan used me as an object. Is he right about that? How did he use it again? It was, Ryan wanted Michael, the subject, to uh, explain the computer system, the object. Thank you. To whomever, meaning us, the indirect object which is the, the correct usage of the word. No one uh, asked you anything ever, so whomever's name is Toby, why don't you take a letter opener and stick it into your skull? Hey, this doesn't matter, and uh, I don't even care. Michael, you quit the other job or you're fired here. Oh. Hey! It's, it's the temp, look! Oh my gosh. The temp. Uh, is that the police? Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happened. Uh, Ryan's big project was the website which wasn't doing so well. So Ryan, to give the impression of sales, recorded them twice. Once as office sales and once as website sales, which is what we refer to in the business as misleading the shareholders. Another good term is fraud. How's my favorite branch doing? All right. Ronnie was blech. Things were an all-time sad here. But then I got an email from Ryan that he was coming back to town, and I called the temp agency, and I told them, I will pay you any amount. Just give me Ryan Howard. Give him to me. I want him. I need him. And you got a goatee. I did. Did you get that after you helped me move and you saw mine? Yes. Goatee. Fire the guy. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. It's great to see you, Kev. You too. I'm keeping a list of everyone who wrongs me, so when I'm back on top, they'll be sorry. Kevin just made the list. Jim, I want to apologize for how I treated you last year. I lost sight of myself, and now that I've quit the rat race, I realize there's so much more to life than being the youngest VP in the company's history. I've even started um, volunteering giving back to the community. Oh, that's great. You're talking about your court-ordered community service? I don't need a judge to tell me to keep my community clean. But he did, right? All right. All right. He's always been a lifelong friend. Michael! What's going on? I... Hey, Ryan. Hey, you. Excuse me. Yes? This wasn't on the list. Yes, it is. No. Yes. It's not. It is. When did you add this to the list? Pam, everyone deserves a second, second chance. Ryan, just out of curiosity, how much do you get paid here? $60,000 a year. You get paid by the year at the bowling alley. What do you make, secretary? Back to work, shoe bitch. I told you guys I'm really busy here. So would you like to come to work for the Michael Scott Paper Company? What size shoes are you guys? Uh, nine. What are those, a men's 10? No. Look what he's doing. What is he doing? He's stealing them. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. He's already paying for himself. Sorry! Where is it? Right here. Hey, come on guys. These are prime selling ours, you know. I imagine one of the best things about being an IT guy is you get to know everyone's computer passwords. You know, I actually don't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know you have to say that, but we got a little problem here. There is an employee named Jim Halpert. And he's doing some terrible things, okay? He's molesting people via the internet, and we need to stop him. I think that you should call the cops. No, the cops called us. So I'm gonna need you to give me the password to Jim Halpert's computer. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm sorry, I just can't give out his password like that. It's Nick, we could make things very, very difficult for you. Are you, are you threatening me? Threatening you. No.